Let's see how we can create a metal material or a metal object. You basically need a picture of a metal surface like this. Open it in the image node. We need the color app to turn it into grayscale and adjust its contrast. The dark and bright areas in this picture must be inverted for the metallic map. The brighter areas will be metallic. And here's the final result. Make sure that your view transform is set to standard. Save your image when it's ready. We need to make a good texture brush first. Create a plane and add a 4K texture for it. Connect it to base color. Add a new texture. Set map into stencil. Check image aspect. Adjust the strength of the brush. Transform your stencil to break the parts in and make a texture vary. Place bigger and smaller pits in its different parts. Let's have a cube as our base mesh. Select all the hard edges and mark them as seams. Set margin to 005. Add a new material and a 4K texture for the base color. Go to Texture Paint. Set bleed to 32 pixels as we have a 4K image. Open our texture brush as image texture. Try a different size and rotation of your stencil to achieve better results. Add Mix RGB node and select different colors. Darker for the pits, brighter for the polished surface. Connect the original texture to metallic. The fastest way to get the bump is to add bump nodes. Connect your texture to height. You can adjust it with a color up and the drivers inside the bump nodes. We need to bake a normal map to use it separately from the setup. Create an image texture. Set its resolution. Set 32 bit float and select non color. Select normal. Set margin to 32 pixels as we're baking a 4K texture. Bake and connect your texture to normal map nodes. Go to Output Properties. Select RGB and 16 bits. Save your texture. You can also bake a normal map from the geometry. In this example we just have a cube, so we don't need to bother with retopology. Add a new texture for the normal map. Set 32 bits float and select non-color. Add multi-resolution modifier. Turn it off to keep your hardware performance. Set it to simple. Add displace modifier. Decrease its strength to a proper value. Add a new texture slot. Set texture coordinates to UV. Open our base color texture for the displace modifier. Subdivide about 11 times. Set preview to zero. Turn it on. Apply displace modifier. Check bake from Multiress. Set margin to 32 pixels as we have a 4K image. Hit bake when your settings are ready. Connect the normal map and check its quality. Baking from multi-resolution is pretty quick and saves your computer resources. Save it if it's fine. You can also add some sculpting in 2.80 or any recent versions of Blender depending on your preference and bake an additional normal map. Let's combine these two normal maps. Switch to Compositing tab. Open your normal maps in the image nodes. The first one is with worn edges. The second one is the pitted surface. Here they combine together. Set the flat color of the first normal as color key. Use mass value as the mask. Set view transform to standard and save your combined normal map. Finally, test your normal map on a low poly cube. You can also create a normal map from your brush texture and use it in a combination for box mapping. Let's use the multi-resolution modifier to bake it from the geometry. We don't even need to apply displace modifier. Go to render properties. Switch to workbench. Select normal matte cap. 
choose object. Set 32 samples. Set sRGB for display device and standard for view transfer. Go to output properties. Set the resolution to 4K. Go to top view. Create a camera. Switch to camera view. Lock camera to view and pull it above the plane. Go to Object Data Properties. Select Orthographic. Set to. Render the image and save your normal map. If you want the pits look smooth, you need to add at least one subdivision level in preview and apply smooth shading. Notice, this can increase your normal map size dramatically. You can also choose another render engine. Switch render engine to Eevee. Go to Compositing. Select Render Layers. Add Normal in View Layer Properties. Set XYZ for Display Device and RAW for View Transform. Connect Normal to separate RGBA. Add Normalized Nodes twice. Connect the channels accordingly. Add Combine RGBA Node. Connect it to Viewer. Render the image. Your normal map is ready. This normal map gives a sharper effect. We can also amend its color channels to get different results. Try different colors for the metallic surface and select the most suitable. I hope this video can help you create your own metal materials or at least improve your workflow. Thank you for watching. See you next time.